In order to meditate and manifest, you have to know key components. In this video, we're going to discuss the exact step of what you need to do. Repeat this step when you wake up, in the afternoon, and when you go to bed. Repeat it throughout your day for maximum results. Let's begin. Oftentimes, people avoid meditation because they have a preconceived notion of what it may look like, of what it has to look like, of what they must do to prepare for meditation. And I ask you to just unzip from that preconceived notion and what you have been taught for just a moment and open yourself up to a doorway that is right before you. Visualize yourself opening that door and opening up to an entirely new world. A dimension that looks upside down inside out, a dimension with colors so beautiful that you simply just want to reach out and touch them, activities that make you feel joy and bliss. And imagine yourself walking into that world and the threshold, the doorway disappears and you feel safe. This new world is a world of unlimited possibilities. Would it surprise you to know that this new world of untapped potential, of activities and people that make you feel happy inside looking at situations that bring you joy. Would it surprise you to know that world is real? It exists. Well, I want you to take a deeper breath in and I want you to take a deeper look inside of this new world. What else is there that brings a smile to your face? This is your new world. All of the things, all of the people that bring you joy are there. What does that look like? If you enjoy candy apples, there is no fear of a toothache. It is what you want it to be. Is it wealth? Is it family? Is it improved health? Picture that. This world belongs to you. You can reach out and touch anything that you want to. You can have anything before you because this world exists and it is yours. Would it surprise you to know as factual and true as that is that this world this unlimited space of possibilities, of untapped potential, of wealth, abundance, improved health, family, children, true love, happiness of mind, body, soul 
exists already and you are seeing it through your mind's eye. Your mind is directly connected to the quantum field. We know to be true through the world of physics. Science has defined the field of nature and we get to live it. And guess what? The vision that you are seeing exists within your mind and you are seeing it through your mind's eye, your spiritual sight. Your pineal gland is active at all times and that is your third eye. And you are seeing it through the fourth dimension that you are experiencing all of that new world in while your human exists physically in the third dimension that physics has already determined to be the dimension we call life. Though that dimension, the third dimension that we call life through physics definition, scientifically defined, does not hold vision. It holds height, weight, and length. But you have just traveled to a world that exists, a world that holds your happiness, an entire universe that makes you happy. And all you did was simply open the door. You activated your mind's eye your spiritual sight exists in the next dimension, which is the fourth. And as you traveled through this beautiful, untapped, incredibly real world, you crossed from the fourth dimension into the fifth, into the sixth, and you used your sixth chakra and your sixth sense. And now let's take it a little further and let's engage our human so that you can begin to manifest this new world. See, you're seeing it through your mind's eye your spiritual sight and your mind is a faculty of cognitive aspects consciousness exists in your mind and you are consciously aware of the vision you are seeing imagination exists in the mind and you are imagining that which already exists according to physics because it exists in the quantum field and scientifically, we know this to be true because it's energy and so are you. And so your perception is, well, if I can think it and I can see it, surely I can manifest it. And your perception is absolutely correct. You are absolutely correct and you are absolutely manifesting that world that belongs to you right now. And intelligence exists in our mind and you are intellectually intelligent and therefore you are bringing your brain into this new system. And intellectu intellectually you know quantum physics is science. Even if you've never heard or seen the definition of quantum theory, you know on a human level 
that science exists. And since physics is the study of nature, your human nature has to know that she or he can touch this hidden world that you're showing her. And so there's judgment that exists in the mind as well. And instead of being judged, your human deserves to know that the judgment that she or he can have those very things that made him feel so happy, that made the smile sweep across her face has already been decided. And through the vision that you continuously show your human through your mind's eye, your human will begin to seek that vision out in the third dimension through your human's eyes. And the other five senses that are attached to your human body, your human will begin to take that reprogramming of your brain that begins inside of your mind and take massive action to manifest that vision. Because the language that you are now showing and communicating to your human has changed. Your new narrative is unlimited, untapped potential that belongs to you already. And your new narrative explains that your human can have all of that, all of which makes her happy. And memory exists in our mind. And so as you begin to explore this new world of unlimited untapped potential and become very familiar with it because it is how you created it and you get to create and co-create with divine source and the universe. Every breath you take, the reprogramming that be begins to happen between your mind and your brain controls your human. And it controls the very neural transmission, the signals between your human and your human's brain. And your human's brain does something very profound because your mind is now in control. And you as the soul control your mind. And so you as the soul within your human control your brain, which is your human. And so what begins to happen is you begin to control your human through this vision that you are seeing and that you are living and that you are now transmitted completely inside of through the spirit and the law of transmutation. You are one with that vision. You have stepped into a new world and the door no longer exists. This new world does. A world in which your dreams come true, your visions, your wishes, your desires. And as you experience this through your breath and you control the vision that you co-create, you focus on making it happen and you're controlling your human automatically, which is reprogramming your human's brain. And your human begins to send an entirely new set of circuits and neurons and all of these beautiful scientific terms begin to fire off and transmit new signals to your human senses from you, the soul who controls your mind. And your mind goes to your brain and says, 
this is our new narrative and this is our new world we live here we don't live in the third dimension that they call life because the third dimension holds stressors chaos and limitation according to society, family, traditions, and your past. And so now that you live in the fourth dimension that we call life because we are spiritually awakened to the unlimited, untapped potential, which is more than your birthright, it is scientifically true because it is all energy. And you begin to reprogram you're human, and your human acts differently and moves closer, takes steps, makes phone calls, takes a program, and finishes it from start to finish now instead of giving up because of who told her she would never amount to anything and who told him to get back to a regular job and not pursue his purpose, his passion. Now, your human has an entirely different blueprint, a plan that derived from you, the soul, within your human, through the control you have over your mind and the focused determination and the pure passion and desire of using your mind's eye and walking into this new world that has always existed but now feeding it to your human by showing your human repeatedly what this new world looks like. You are reprogramming your human and you are manifesting that very thing that you keep feeding your human through your spiritual sight. That is not only meditation, but it is manifestation. And each breath that you take and you repeat these steps of visualization is meditation. And you move further away from the circumstances of limitation and lack and fear and sadness and overwhelm and depression and as you inhale deeply you breathe in that vision and your human automatically starts to bring her hands up and bring that vision closer to him and now your human whether it be she or he understands there's a whole new life inside of her or him that has been begging to come alive all this time and we call that awakening spiritually so as you awaken spiritually we have many spiritual awakenings but you wake up too your untapped, unlimited potential. And your narrative changes. And your blueprint becomes illumined. And you begin to manifest what exists inside of that new world that was once behind a closed door. A door that society, family, a door that past mistakes and failures, a door that teachers, spouses, partners, a door that your own human was afraid to explore before. Meditation is a bridge to opening that door and you have already opened that door and you have made that door collapse and go away and so I encourage you to repeat this video over and over and over throughout your day at least three times a day 
so that you are familiar with the steps and so you are reprogramming your human and your human understands the possibilities that exist even when her own family tells her she can't have those visions even when his manager says he will always be an employee when that vision inside of that world that you're showing your human says differently. You can have more and more and more and more.